What's up guys, Hong OG Fitness. Hey, so today uh, in this video, I'm gonna break down a little bit uh, Osoto Gary, right? So I actually brought my uh, my Yi, right? My first, not my first, but yeah, actually the first Judo Gi that I ever bought. And it shows because it's all like gray and ripped up and because I, I used to wash it with, with other colors. Bad idea, so don't do that. Um, okay, so one of uh, one of the guys, uh, so Remy, this is for you, right? Sent me a video on uh, on on Facebook, Facebook Messenger. So if you guys um, uh, if you guys don't don't have me on Facebook, add me on Facebook, okay? And uh, from there, I can uh, you know if you send me videos and stuff, because from there you can send me videos, right? If you want me to, uh, uh, if you want my opinion on something, or just want to chat or have a question. Uh, so that's what Remy did. He sent me a little video of him doing a Osoto Gary. So this one's for you. I'm just gonna like uh, show you a couple of things that uh, that I want you to try and keep uh, keep in mind when you do Osoto Gary, right? And uh, regarding your uh, Ipon Seonage, uh, what you mentioned, I, I didn't really fully understand. You said the arm gets in the way. You're gonna have to make a video and show me what you mean, okay? And then from there, I'll I'll be able to give you uh, my two cents on that. And uh, once again, guys, uh, 41 years old, brown belt in judo been doing this for about four years i don't know maybe five or something like that but i started later in life uh so and uh i'm not like supposed to teach people judo because you know you're supposed to have your black belt and all that uh but uh hey you know it's uh it's just my two cents okay like okay so here's how i want you to go about it right i'm gonna I'm gonna do it without the gi first, okay? Just the movement, and then I'm gonna add the gi, okay? So, cause that usually, like, I know it sounds simple, Osoto Gary, right? Like, there was somebody in the, uh, uh, at one point mentioned, oh yeah, it took me two minutes to learn that. Maybe for some people, right? Uh, some people are just more, um, uh, learn, learn really quickly, right? By just looking at a movement, they're able to replicate it and all. And you know maybe because they were they were they're athletic, uh, they have some kind of background. They did a lot of sports, so they could just like understand a movement and and do it right away. Um, and generally speaking, I'm like that too, right? But Osoto Gary, I had a hard time with this technique, man, for a long time. Like I wanted it to be my special, so to speak, because I heard, oh yeah, it's, it's so cool, you know, it's uh, you not know, concuss the guy easily and all that, but it, it was hard for me. It took me a while before I, I got it, right? Like even though it seems simple, right? The movement itself is like, it's not that complicated, but it's the entry, you know, it's the gripping, it's the off balancing. And then after that, it's actually, once you, even once you understand that, it's about trying to get it actually in a, in a randori or in a fight, that, that's even more complicated. So um, it's, so it took me a while before I, I really got a grasp for it. Now I do, now I understand how, I, I might be able to place it uh, in, in Randori. I think I must have placed it in competition too. At one point, I forgot, you know. Um, so, okay. So it's not it's not as easy as it looks. You know, there's a lot of things in judo. There's a lot of details, man. You know, it's not, uh, it doesn't just happen overnight. So you got to practice and then you got to uh, make your adjustments along the way and all that. So let me just get right into it. So first off, okay, when you, when you do Osoto, you have to, Okay, let me step back here a little bit. Okay, so this is my stance. So I am, this is my right leg. Okay, and my left leg is in the back. So what I wanna do is I wanna step here, right? So let's say for argument's sake, this is the guy's leg. Okay, wait. actually this is a good idea. I'll bring the gi in afterwards. So if the guy's leg is here, Right, look, I wanna be here, okay? So let me just turn it this way, show you guys. You guys see me from here? Wait, let me just adjust the camera a little bit. There you go. So this is the leg that you wanna attack. So if this is the leg that you wanna attack, you have to step here, right? Like this. So you're here, let's say we're here, and uh, let's say, okay, so from here, 
here, here, right? Here, here. Remember, it's off to the side a little bit. You're not just stepping in like this because it's not gonna work, okay? You have to step to the side, okay? And look at my hands now, okay? Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Once uh, this quarantine thing is over, uh, I'll, I'll ask somebody to film me while I'm explaining. It'll be much easier. But watch. From here, look at my hands. This here is on the lapel. This one is on the sleeve. Of course, the sleeve has to be down, always down. Okay? And from here, watch. This comes up, up, like if you're drinking water. And this one to the side. Okay? This is the step. So when you step, here's an important detail. You actually have to get the guy off balance towards the side. And this is something I actually got from a, uh, 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 wait, let me just get his name a second. I don't want to, I don't want to butcher it. Uh, Antoine Valois Fortier, right? He's a, uh, a Canadian. He was a bronze medals in uh, 2012, um, London Games, if I'm not mistaken, right? He's right here in Montreal. So he came by to one of our uh, to our club, and he gave a he gave a little uh, um, a train a little training there, you know, for for what about an hour and a half, two hours. So he actually got this into my head. He showed this like to to us. This is one of the techniques that he showed. Okay, and he was explaining how he did Osoto Gary. Right? It's a lot different. Well, I wouldn't say a lot different, but there's like a million ways of doing it. Like it depends on your body type, your entry, and all that. But you know, there's the classical. Way. So the classical way is uh, is the old Japanese style where you just come in, and so you pull the guy up, you pull him up, right? Because you you're here, but you pull him up and towards you, and then you step in, and then you bring your leg up. So it's kind of it looks like kind of like this. So if you had the guy's leg here. It looks like that, okay? And of course you pull, and this shoulder here has to bump into the shoulder that's here. It has to bump in. You have to have contact, right? So that's classic, classic, uh, um, what do you call it? Osoto, right? Japanese style. Bring the ear, like friggin' foot really high. Like, okay, but remember, when you come in, you're not supposed to come underneath like that because if you come in and you're like this, the guy will just clothesline you and then you can fall back, right? So when you come in, you're actually pulling him, not to, slightly towards you up, but the way you want to do it and the way I recommend you do it is off the side. So here's what I mean. I'm gonna hold here. You see here? This has to touch, right? If I'm step, this is terrible, guys. But watch, if I'm here, I gotta step. I gotta pull this this way. So pull, and this here is coming. You see this shoulder here? This part, this shoulder. My shoulder, this shoulder. Right? This here, actually, you could actually press a little bit on his head going this way. Right? And that's what you want to do. So instead of having, instead of coming in just like holding his arm down and then, okay? Think of it this way. This, you have to have contact. This forearm has to have contact, bam, with his body. So you're like this. Right? So you're here. You're here. You step to the side, okay, boom. So this, this thing here is touching. This, this here, this hand is even pushing on his neck. Right, so let me just do it here. Oh, I'm not confusing you guys too much, all right? And you're stepping, I don't want you to step just here, right? Like if his leg is here, if you just go like this, like, you know, it's not as good. What you wanna do, 
is you want to step off here because you're pulling him. What you're doing is you're here, you're down, up, but you're pulling him up, up, and this way. Up and this way. And here, this one here is pushing on his the side of his neck. And here, contact, right? Contact. Here and here. Here and here. Contact. So you want your forearm here. It's hard, it's a little bit hard to explain without a partner, but you definitely want on the side, you want this to touch and this here to touch. Boom, boom, boom. You have to touch the chest. The chest, this part of this is part of my entry, right here. Bam. Bam. See, so my arm, if you look at it, like to the side. Bam. This here. This here is coming in. And the dude. Let's say he's here, I'm holding his arm, okay? He's like this. This is how you want to, this is, this is the key thing, guys. So when I'm here, okay? So you're pulling the guy, he's like, uh, you're pulling him here. Uh, you see how this leg is going up? Now he's on one leg. He has all the weight on this leg. Easy for you to finish it, you know? If you're able to get the guy into this position, you're golden, man. Like, you see, if he's here and you get him here, well, he can kind of resist. It'll be harder for you. But if you get the kazushi of this, is the, uh, the off balancing is really to get him like this. To get him not necessarily like this, right? But slightly, you see my foot here? Slightly off. If I get this, I'm good. Because most of the weight is here. I just have to kick this out. So you see, that's why I'm stepping more towards the side because I want to get the guy like this. Just slightly like this, right? And then you come in. So if you're here, so you see, I don't come in like this. Like this is the, the classic way, right? So you boom. But a better way is to come in here. Step more to the side and pull this guy up. So, so much easier when you have somebody. But here you go. Let's do what we have. So I'm here. This is the legs. <laughs> I'm gonna attack this leg right here. Okay, so watch this. I'm here, so I step. I step here, and then from here, Okay, keep your toes pointed down, and then, boom, right? So you're here, right? Bring this guy, bring this guy here. So you see here, it's not about, I'm not trying to pull the guy up like this. So I'm here, I'm pulling him, I'm taking the step, I'm taking the step to the side, and then I'm pulling this way, pulling this way, and then putting pressure forward. All right, so. So you can have your arms down here, right? And then you raise it, and you take a step. Raise it, take a step. Raise it, take a step. <laughs> I can't see myself doing this from the back, so hope this makes sense. You see? So the movement is actually like this. You're down, see my hands here? Here, down, up, down. So it's like, it's gonna look like this. Down, up, up, down. So because that's what I saw you doing. Put pressure down, okay? Then raise it up, and then, so it's kind of like, goes down, goes up, and goes down. So goes down, goes up, right? So down, up, to the side, boom, right? So down like this, up, and then push. Down, right, up, with the step, up. It goes up like this. Boom, right? So you're here, down.
right? So that's the move. That's the Osoto. Bring this, bring, see this arm? Bend it. Bend it. Boom. Boom. What I want you to do is make sure the guy, just this. Right? So, you could actually use a broomstick. Give me one second, I'm gonna get your broomstick. So, watch. For the footwork, if this is the leg you're attacking, So if you're here, you take the step. Anyways, listen, I hope that made sense. 16 minutes of me, um, you know, trying to break that down with like nobody, right? So once again, to the side, to the side, to the side, but you drag the guy, drag the guy, right? Drag the guy, bring contact here, bend this arm. So you hear? Bend this arm. Bend this one. Bend, pull, and of course. Listen, I hope that made sense. So, yeah, just follow me on Facebook, OG Fitness, right? Or uh, Hong Nguyen, whatever you find first, and then I'll add you into the group. And uh, if you have any videos or anything like that you want to share, uh, or if you want to, you know, like have questions or whatever, you can film stuff that you're doing. And then you can tell me, you can ask my two cents on it or whatever. And um, yeah, follow also me on Instagram. Like, uh, for, like it's on Facebook and on Instagram where I'm, it's easier to talk to you guys, right? Because the thing on, on YouTube is that, well, when you guys put comments, like I, sometimes I don't see them right away because there's so many. It's on this video. It's on that video. So it's not like, you know, congregated, uh, concentrated into one specific place. So if you guys add me on Facebook or on uh, on IG, at least I, I know where it's coming from. I can check my messages and then I can answer you guys faster. So that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it made sense. Um, and of course, subscribe, like the channel, uh, click on the notification bell and all that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So there you go. Peace.